Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. And I'm going to do a large bloom. This pillow paint is a mist tint that I bought. It's just like a light lavender. So I thought I would try it as a pillow. Seems a little thick, but we'll see how it goes. It leaves a mound, see, and it doesn't disappear quickly. So the next time, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> but I can always add a little bit of water or Floetrol to thin it down next time. Shell. So I've got some nice uh, purples and I have magenta and some gold. PBO Vivid Pink. It's opaque, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. isn't too thick. Anyway, the colored paints are a little bit thinner than the pillow paint. And I've got some purple, purple. I should have put two magentas in here. All right, All right. so I'm going to, I have a dark Permanent blue violet. Purple Flash by Color Shift, which is this one here. It's a purpley magenta color. There's, an, there's the consistency. See how it disappears in a couple of seconds. So it's thinner than the pillow. I have a uh, this little piggy pinwheel. I'm gonna put that one in a minute. I'll put some gold next. I'll use my PBO gold, PBO iridescent gold. I also have a amethyst. I 
Decolart Extreme Sheen. And then I'll put the piggy next. Now, which color was I going to put on top? Oh, I keep forgetting. I don't like putting the pigments on the top. I think I'll put more magenta, maybe. Let's see if I have any more made up. Okay, I'll try some of this brilliant purple. Okay, so let's put this pigment. And then I have white. Which I'm putting underneath the top color. Wow, this is so thick. Let me add some more of my mixture. I have varnish and water that I mix together. Maybe about three quarters water to a quarter varnish. So this is the Cortex Basics white and I've added some, um, there's the white. And I've added some pearl medium, iridescent um, medium to it just to see if it'll Give it a bit of shine. Let's see how this goes. Still feel it's a little on the thick side. All right. Now my brilliant purple by Decoart. I think it's Decoart Americana. I'm almost out of it. That's enough. I think I'll put some of the dark purple on the top too, just to give it a bit more contrast. This is very transparent. Oh, we'll see what we get. I'm going to use black cell activator. This is a way thinner Australian Floetrol float and Oxide Black. Let's hope this works okay with this thick pillow. cells. Wow, that's quite, quite dramatic. Still think I need to thin this weight down a little more. And I gotta wait for this to
Ooh, gorgeous. Zoom you in. See how this goes. Seems to be all moving, which is good. Sometimes the middle sticks a bit. I like that when it all moves like that. So it's probably better to have it a little on the thicker side rather than the thin side. If the thin side, then it would go right down in. There's a happy medium. Okay, let's spin this out. This is just a canvas I went over that I just sewed first. Ooh, look at these cells. Need it to come this way now. towards that way and hopefully it'll come off that way. that magenta in there it's very pretty I didn't get a lot of gold showing through maybe 
Just over here and here, a little bit here. These cells are flipping amazing. So putting that white paint under the second, under the top color really gives it a different dimension. Look at those cells. They look three dimension. This looks like a butterfly wing right here. Right there too. Wow. See how it's moving much? Doesn't look like it. Let's need a little bit over here. Touching up the sides over here. Just need to a little bit more over here, and I think it's pretty good. Put some paint here and it'll help it. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, 
this pillow seemed to work okay with this, with my paint mixture. It's good. Oh, you are close up. There, what do you think? I think it's pretty awesome. I don't know, I like it this way. Thanks for watching and have a good day, everyone. If you like my videos, please subscribe and hit that bell and you'll be notified when I do a new video. I'll put the dried result at the end. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Here's my dried 12 by 12 canvas. It's really pretty. It looks like a butterfly wing or an angel. There's another one up there. One that looks like one there. This one's very cool. Look at those cells. Dried really good. I love this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.